probably right around 15 feet. Conditions were ripe to spear some sturgeon, maybe even some big ones. And I think people are going to remember this year for quite a while. And there you have businesses benefiting from the start of the season. A bountiful harvest on day one of the sturgeon spearing season. Good evening to you. After several slow years, Lake Winnebago had its best opening day since 2008. Spears turned out in droves. Over 4,000 shanties were counted on Lake Winnebago, the highest total since 2010. Jude Wilbers joins us now, and it was an exciting day for sturgeon spears, Jude. Yeah, Mark, after fighting poor water clarity last year, bad ice quality the year before that, and Mother Nature owed those spears one, and this year, the cold winter so far has made for good ice conditions, and sturgeon spears came out in big numbers, as we said. Our Justin Felder found out that meant some big fish as well. 140.1. So what do you do with a 140 pound fish? I know you're going to want a picture of this one. I already got some feedback from the fiance on that. <laughs> what was the feedback if you can share? She's not that interested in mounting it. Um. <laughs> Lucas Schneider had one of the biggest fish in a long line of successful spearers at Harbor Bar in Stockbridge, one of many busy registration stations circling Lake Winnebago during the sturgeon season's opener. Kind of surprised when it went out this morning. They're kind of like a highway of people on their way, making their way out there. There was a lot of anticipation, a lot of excitement, and I think people are going to remember this year for quite a while. The big crowds and lots of fish also has a downside. The DNR says, based on the early numbers they're getting, this looks like it'll be the first season to not go the full 16 days since 2010. Typically, once you get to at least 12 feet of visibility, it's going to be a, a, a successful season. We're probably going to end up closing the season sometime during this week, if not next weekend. Oh, water clarity is probably right around 15 feet, so it was good. I mean, especially compared to last year where you could see, I don't know, six feet. So take a photo while you can. Long lines of fish probably won't last that long. And as for Schneider, now he has to figure out what to do with his 140 pounder, even if his fiance doesn't want it in the living room. And I gotta admit, it's kind of an ugly animal, so I don't blame her. I can't blame her at all. Might not be pretty, but a huge, satisfied crowd made sure to get a look. In Stockbridge, Justin Felder, Fox 11 Sports. Thanks, Justin. For even more sturgeon spearing coverage, just log on to fox11online.com for more on the opening day of the season, including total harvest numbers from day one photo gallery.